Welcome to the project demonstration of non-contact tachometer. So in this project we are going to measure the motor speed in terms of RPS, so revolutions per second. Generally it can measure in two modes, RPM and RPS. For high accuracy we are going to measure that in RPS, so revolutions per second. So that will be calculated by our PIC 16F72 microcontroller through this non-contact IR sensor. So in the IR sensor we can see the two LEDs. So one is IR LED transmitter, this white color one is a transmitter and the black color one is the IR receiver. So whenever any white object, mainly white object, presents in front of that, the white object surface reflect those IR rays the, by this object and that will be received by this IR receiver module. So when it receives that, it will give the trigger pulse to the microcontroller. Means whenever the it like this, then it will trigger that, the controller will count that one and like that it will keep on counting per second I mean how many pulses are generated from this IR sensor module so it will calculate the count per second and that will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen as RPS and we are going to change the speed of this motor by using this potentiometer so the potentiometer like we discussed 9 volt battery was connected as a power supply source to this DC motor so here we are using 9 volt DC motor and we have interfaced this IR sensor at A4 pin of our microcontroller and LCD interface at pin number B2 to B7 so on this motherboard uh, we are getting the three major components one is the microcontroller another is the crystal oscillator to provide the clock pulse to the microcontroller so the main purpose of this clock pulse is in order to read the instructions we need to provide the clock signals nothing but nothing but per instruction the controller need one pulse so that we are providing 20 mega clock frequency per second so that the controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second and the third one is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller press and release so that the controller will reset and will work from the starting onwards so on this motherboard this is the power status LED indication and this program status LED indication so when it is blinks we came to know that the system is reading the so called uh, RPS calculation so let us see the demonstration so this adapter will take 230 volts AC input and provide us the 5 volts uh, DC output so it has a 4 stages transformation and rectification and filtration and regulation so after that we will get the 5 volts DC power supply so once we switch on the kits so then there is a welcome message on the LCD screen and then as of now there is no motion I mean there is no rotation on this DC motor it's showing the zero so if I rotate it manually so we can see that the RPS increases so now let us see that right so when we leave it uh, idle then the RPS will be settled. So let me increase it again. Full RPS. Okay. So actually, we are using the 6000 RPM uh, DC motor. So when it is showing the uh, around nearby 100 RPS. So per second, it's rotating 100 rotations per second. So when we converted that into RPM into 60 means one second 100 rps in 60 seconds it's going to be the around of 6000 rotations per minute so i'm decreasing that now so in this manner we are going to calculate the motor speed without any contact as of now we know that for measuring the rpm there is a contact based tachometer generally which will be attached to the motor directly so this is a non-contact tachometer which can measure the based on the IR race reflection from the motor fan or motor shaft.